if I feel someone needs my needs to know God's love and care, I can't not embrace them. If a kitty lifts his arms and wants to be lifted up and held by me, I can't not do it. I can't not show love, affection, kindness, warmth, understanding. I can't not express the love of God in this way. If people are constraining me to not do that, well, it's as if they're being toxic, though they may not realize it. I have to move away. I have to put them at a distance where I am free to express the love of God as and when I see a need. So I can't keep the company of those that are going to hate me for doing it. I can't be in a place where they are. They are toxic to me, you see. Um, that's what I find to be the case. Well, yes, in the world you'll have persecution, and I didn't say you know, indulge in the persecution, you should flee into the next city. Uh, I mean, figuratively speaking, at least. Um, you know, don't hold with persecution. Distance it. Put it at a distance. Something stopping you doing something that you feel is right and good and a blessing. Then put such obstacles at a distance by moving yourself so that you can exercise such blessing. And sure, you may receive persecution again. Well, then you move on, don't you? And you say, well then, this life here in this world is constantly moving on. That's right. It's a world of change. It's a world of... Uh, closure of some things and new beginnings constantly you know you move up through the classes you don't stay in class one forever you shift up and each each class is appropriate to where you are and when you have exhausted that lesson learnt those lessons well you move on and that's not unsatisfactory on the contrary, that's growth, that's development, that's constant new day, new dawn, new opportunities for the fullness of life. Now, heaven is eternal life. It's within you whenever you wish, and it's before you if that's what you truly wish. If you love such, me, with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, for heaven is in accordance with who I am. Okay? When I was a young, young lad, and there was really just mum in my life, and, uh, yeah, alienated, scared of Dad. I felt there was a great need, and I felt they existed. Older men in the world who were just paternal, helpful, would rescue children in need, in distress, women in need and distress, people generally that there were these wonderful people in society who just cared and provided and would come to the rescue. They were a safety, a security. What made society made society. Well, I am that man. And nothing's going to stop me being that man. Thank you, Heavenly Father. <laughs>